So now we're going to talk about the fifth string, which is when you're in standard tuning, that's tuned to an open A. And where things can get a little bit tricky is the fact that this A in this octave, meaning that range of the instrument, is exactly the A that we had at the fifth fret of the sixth string. Remember, when we went over the sixth string, that fifth fret was an A. Well, that's exactly the note in the same range that the fifth string starts on the open. So it's a duplicate note. And then once we have this A, the same rules apply. A to B is a whole step. So B is then the second fret of the fifth string. B to C is a half step, so C is the third fret. C to D is a whole step, so D is the fifth fret. D to E is a whole step, so E is the seventh fret. E to F is a half step, so F is going to be the eighth fret. F to G is a whole step, so that's the tenth fret. And G to A is the twelfth fret. And that's, again, that A, one octave above the open A, just like we had with this, the uh, sixth string where we had the, the E octave, we have an A octave from the open fifth to the twelfth fret of the fifth string. So let's think about that as it refers back to the sixth string. If I were to play something like A, B, C, D, C, B, A, the open, second, third, fifth, third, second, open, A, B, C, D, C, B, A on the fifth string, that would then match up with the same notes if I started at the fifth fret on the sixth string and go A, B, C, D, C, B, A. You can hear it's exactly the same pitches. You might also notice that it sounds a little, a little bit darker over here on the sixth string. It's because, of course, the string is thicker. The sixth string's thicker, so you get a little twangier, brighter tone. You play it down there, and a warmer, darker tone up here. And that's one of those choices that you're always going to make as a guitar player when you play something. What string do you actually want to play it on? Uh, referring to the timbre, you know, which, whether you want it bright or dark. So that's the notes along the fifth string, the natural notes. And of course, again, the notes that we skipped over would be the sharps and flats that we'll refer to in another episode. So let's take a look at the fourth string next. Hi, this is Alex Lifeson of Rush, and today we're going to work on uh, the spirit arrangement. <laughs> It starts at the F sharp, uh, which is the second fret on the high E string, and it's 